So we're looking at some pretty nice conditions out there with the sunshine and a lack of cloud cover. Temperatures have risen nicely. They're at 73 degrees right now. 61 degree dew point. We have a northeast wind, an indication that that frontal zone is moved over us. In fact, it's basically sitting right over us. We'll continue to see that northeast wind maybe shift a little bit more northerly as we get into the later afternoon and into the evening hours and increase in wind speeds just a little bit that it's seven right now could get up to about 15 as we head into the evening. So the current temperatures across the state, certainly an indication there is some colder air to the north. We've got some 40s currently in the northern tier, 52 in Jacksonville, 54 in uh, Gainesville. Then you get into the 70s and you kind of hold there till you're almost in the 80s in the southern tip of the state. We are just entering into that zone of transition. We started this morning where that colder air is starting to filter southward across the region. 73 Wachula, Arcadia, Mayak at 71, 70 in Perry, 73 Bradenton, Sarasota at 73, Venice at 71, Northport. You've got 71 as well in Punta Gorda the same. Now, if you try to find a front, <coughs> excuse me, Excuse me. Oftentimes what you'll do is you'll look at where the dry air is, where the dry air is not. Look at where the winds have shifted. And if you look at the, the, the kind of dew point structure, which is the measure of how much moisture there is in the air across the state, you know, I mean, you've definitely got some drier air to the north, 50 and almost 50 in Jacksonville. Then you get into the 60s and then down in the southern tip of the state, almost in the 70s. So the gradation of dry air is pretty diffuse and stretched out over the state. It's really hard to find exactly where the front is, except if you look at the wind shifts, you can see that in the southern part of the state, they're generally the winds are out of the east. You can kind of tell that with these radar echoes. And then to the north, they're a little bit more out of the northeast. So we're in that zone that's in the northeast. So I, I'm going to say that that front has already entered into our area and headed south. But I'll tell you what. It's almost academic because this is a very diffuse and weak front. It's not going to plummet our temperatures. It's just going to knock them back about five degrees to more seasonable temperatures for this time of year, as opposed to the well above average temperatures we have had. Rain showers to the north, but not so much over us. We're going to stay dry. Despite the fact that we're going to get a little bit of cloud cover in here, we're really not going to see much in the way of rain. So if you look across the nation, we've got an onshore flow in the Pacific Northwest, creating the rain showers and snow showers there. Got some cold air diving southward out of Canada, producing some frigid temperatures in parts of the northern tier in the northeast and some lake effect snows where the totals are impressive. I mean, over five feet of snow with some of these lake effect showers. And down to the south, we have this kind of weak and diffuse front. So two fronts that we're talking about, the cold air diving south is front number one, and then front number two is our weak and diffuse front. Front number one, the weak and diffuse one will be through here later today. That northeast wind will continue drawing down that drier, cooler air. Front number two will be on its way and headed our way over the weekend, bringing us some significantly colder air, which you'll see in the extended range forecast. So today, sun cloud makes a bit cooler, and then we'll wait for that cold air on the way. We will start to see a little bit more cloud cover overnight, but don't worry, there won't be any rain involved. Winds will also be picking up north, northeast, becoming northeast, becoming north at about 15. And the forecast over the next several days kind of looks like this. For the next several days, some nice warm temperatures, relatively speaking, in the 70s. Yes, it'll be cooler than when we started off the week, but still, that's about average. On Sunday, the next front comes through late in the evening or starts to come through. We'll have about a 20% chance of showers. It'll still be pleasant by the pineapple drop in the evening. We'll have a cloudy sky, but temperatures will be about 60 degrees, not too bad. Then on Monday, things change. As the colder air starts to arrive, we'll up our rain chance to about 50% and we'll drop our temperatures to not even in the 70s. And then over the next several days, that cooler air continues to arrive so that our daytime highs are only in the mid-60s.